Hi guys, Leah here. Welcome to my level one Mat Pilates class. This class is perfect for beginners or anybody new to Pilates. It's also a great uh, workout to do if you're on a bit of a rest day and you still want to get the body moving. As with all of my classes though, they are designed for people who are generally fit and healthy, have a basic level of fitness. So if you do have any underlying conditions that may prevent you from completing the class, please do check with your health professional before attending it. This class is going to teach you a few fundamentals of Pilates. We're going to work through neutral pelvis, neutral spine, Pilates breathing, and then we're going to go into some traditional Pilates exercises, a little bit slower than uh, I normally would do as I want to explain uh, exactly what your position should be because you want to make sure that your technique is perfect. This is a total body workout. We'll be working every muscle in the body, but as I said, we will be going nice and slow so you'll get to feel everything that we do. What you will need for today's class is uh, a mat, a little bit of space, some comfy workout clothes and a towel because we will be doing some side lying work and you want to have something to be able to rest your neck on. So without further ado, let's get started. Come lying down onto your back. Make sure that your feet are flat on the floor, all 10 toes connected to the floor. Heels nice and close into the bottom, about a foot away from the bottom. Hands resting down by your side. Just relax everything into this position. And close your eyes. Visualize every vertebra in your spine gently melting down into the mat. Allow your ribcage to soften from front to back and allow your head to be heavy. From this relaxed position, take your awareness to your spine. Notice how your tailbone is resting down on your mat. As you journey up through your spine, there's a natural arc in your lower back. The back of your ribcage is resting down on the mat. There's a natural arc in your neck. And the back of your head is resting heavy on the mat. Soften your chin towards your throat, lengthening the back of your neck. And there you have your neutral spine. From here, taking your awareness to your pelvis. Keeping your tailbone connected to the mat, start to gently rock your pelvis forwards and backwards, tucking and arching. So we're overarching the back and then flattening through the back. Overarching the back and flattening through the back. Warming up the muscles of the abdominals and the pelvic area. And then once you've done a couple more repetitions of your tuck and your arch, just allow your pelvis to settle into the midpoint between the two extremes. So your hip bones and your pubic bone should be on the same horizontal plane. You should be able to balance a plate or a glass of water on that area. That midpoint between your tuck and your arch is called your neutral pelvis. From here, taking our awareness to our breathing. Place your hands on the sides of your ribcage, fingers facing in towards each other, and take a deep breath into the back of your lungs, the sides of your ribs and the front of your belly. And then relax and allow the air just to naturally escape the body. And again, a deep breath into your back, your sides and your belly and breathe out and relax your back, your sides and your belly. One more like this, breathing into your back, your sides and your belly and breathe out allowing the air just to naturally escape the body. And again, breathing into your back, 
your sides and your belly. And this time as you breathe out, squeeze the air out of your lungs, lifting your pelvic floor, draw your navel to your spine and slide your ribcage down towards your hips. Release, breathe into your back, your sides and your belly. Breathe out, squeeze the air out of your lungs, lifting your pelvic floor, draw your navel to your spine and slide your ribcage towards your hips. Now, keeping your navel and your pelvic floor held firm, take a small breath into your back and your sides only. And then breathe out, squeeze the air out of your lungs, keeping your navel and your pelvic floor firm. Again, holding your navel and your pelvic floor firm, take a small breath into your back and your sides only. And breathe out, squeeze the air out of your lungs, keeping your navel and your pelvic floor firm. So that is your Pilates breathing. I'd like you to try and think about that for the rest of the workout. All right, guys, open your eyes. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Have your thumbs running down the side of your neck. Bring your elbows slightly forward so you can see them in your peripheral vision and press your head back into your hands. Now draw your attention down to your waist and funnel your rib cage down towards your hips. Draw your navel towards your spine, making sure that you have a neutral spine so you've got that little curve, that little arc in your low back. Take a breath in, stretch through the back of the neck and as you breathe out, curl your head and chest forward, maintaining your neutral spine. Breathe in, release back down. And breathe out, curling forwards for two, lifting the head and the chest. Breathe in to lower. Breathe out, curling forwards for three, making sure the throat stays open and you're not crunching your neck forwards. Breathe in back. Breathe out, curling forwards for four, lifting the head and chest. Breathe in to return. Four more like this. Breathe out, curling forwards for five, elbows stay open. Breathe in to return. Breathe out, curling forwards for six, slide the ribcage towards the hips. Breathe in back. Breathe out, curling forwards for seven, and release. Breathe out, curling forwards for eight. And down, let's add a twist. So keeping the pelvis nice and stable, take a breath in and as you breathe out, take your right shoulder to your left knee without your hips and pelvis moving. Breathe in to return. Breathe out, take your left shoulder towards your right knee. And back. Breathe out, right shoulder, left knee. And return. Breathe out, left shoulder, right knee, and back. Two more each side, right shoulder for three. Breathe in back. Breathe out the left shoulder, and return. Right shoulder for four, and back. And breathe out left, and return. Now we're going to come up through the center for 16 small little pulses, so come up into your mid-range, Keep the elbows open, throat is open, navel to spine, and we're pulsing for one, two, three, four. Pulse five, six, seven, eight to go. For one, two, three, four. Pulse five, six, seven, and eight. And coming all the way back down. Release the arms down by your side. We're going into a pelvic roller. So keep the feet planted on the floor, hands down, take a breath in. As you breathe out, tuck your tailbone under, roll your spine all the way up off the mat, one vertebra at a time. Lifting the hips, keep rolling up until you're one long line from your knees all the way down through your hips, through your chest, onto your shoulders, making sure that you're not overarching through the back. Squeeze your bottom, lift your hips. Knees are tracking parallel up towards the ceiling. Take a breath in, squeeze. And as you breathe out, rolling the spine back down, vertebra by vertebra, placing one bone each down, each down to the mat, one at a time. And the tailbone is the last to uncurl. Let's do two more like this, take a breath in. As you breathe out, flatten through the back, tuck your pelvis under, roll the spine all the way up into the air. Take a breath in to hold at the top. Squeeze your bottom, lift your hips, eye gaze up towards the ceiling. Back of the neck is long. 
breathing in and then breathe out again roll the spine down vertebra by vertebra bone by bone and your tailbone is the last to uncurl one more like this breathing in and breathe out flatten the back tuck your pelvis under roll your spine all the way up into the air making sure that all ten toes are in contact with the floor pressing the pinky toe into the floor pressing the ball of the foot into the floor heels driving down squeeze your bottom lift your hips making sure your hips and pelvis are stable and parallel and then breathe out rolling the spine all the way back down one vertebra at a time bone by bone onto the mat your tailbone is the last to uncurl okay guys bring your right knee up into tabletop followed by your left squeeze your feet ankles and knees together bring your arms out to a T position take a breath in and as you breathe out we're moving our knees over to the right keeping our left shoulder blade anchored into the floor keep the feet ankles and knees squeezing together really working through the side waist Take a breath in here, and as you breathe out, use your abdominals to bring your knees back up through the center. Other side, breathe in, and breathe out, knees go to the left, right shoulder blade stays anchored to the floor. Only go as far as you can, where you can keep your feet, ankles, and knees squeezing together and moving as one unit. Take a breath in, and as you breathe out, use your abdominals to bring your knees back up through the center. One more each side like this, breathing in at the top and breathe out knees go to the right left shoulder blade stays anchored into the floor feel the stretch through the left side waist feel your right side waist working and working the muscles contracting the core breathe in as you breathe out use your abdominals to bring your knees back up through the center and again knees go to the left right shoulder stays anchored Feel the stretch through the side waist and the right. Feel the left side waist working. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, using the abdominals to bring the knees back up through the center. Well done, guys. Bring your feet back down onto the mat, flat on the floor. We're going to go into some pelvic stability now. So making sure as we isolate one side from the other, that they're both working equally. So keeping the hands planted down on the ground, we're going to go into a pelvic roll up and stay up. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, flatten your back, tuck your pelvis under, roll all the way up into the air. Make sure that you're one long line from your knees all the way down through your hips to your shoulders. Bring the lower rib cage down, tuck the tailbone under, no overarching in the lower back. Keep the hips lifted and squeezing. So we're going to shift the weight over into our left side and float our right knee up into a tabletop position. Now just feel what it feels like here with one knee up and one foot on the floor. Your left bottom is working, but your right bottom has to work also to keep your hips stable. Make sure you don't sag down into the right side, really working that bottom to keep your hips up and your pelvis stable. And then place that right foot back down on the mat in line with your left foot. And then we float our right knee up, uh, sorry, our left knee up. Again, working the right bottom, right hamstring. Make sure that your left bottom starts to work and, and make sure that your hips stay nice and even. So no sagging down into our left side, working the pelvic floor, working the muscles to keep our hips stable. And then we float our left foot down. Let's speed it up a bit. So we're floating our right and lower and float the left and down and right for two and lower and float the left and down right for three and lower and float the left and down and right for four and lower and float the left let's add on to our reps so we're going to float our right knee up and then extend your right leg so that your right thigh is parallel to, to your left thigh. Then we bend our knee back to tabletop and we place that foot down. Let's go to the other side, float the left knee, extend your leg, left thigh parallel to right thigh, keeping the hips nice and stable. Bend the left knee back to tabletop, place that foot down. Let's speed it up, floating the right for two and extend. Breathe in to bend and lower. 
floating the left and extend breathe in bend and down navel to spine float the right three and extend breathe in bend and lower floating the left extend bend one more each side then we're going to add final variation floating the right extend the leg bend the knee and lower floating the left and extend breathe into bend and down last variation keep the hips nice and stable keep the bottom squeezing hips are lifted we float our right knee up extend the leg out to straight lift it all the way up and lower bring the knee back into tabletop and down so we float to the left and extend lift lower bend and down let's just do one more of these on each side so floating the right and extend we lift lower bend and down last one float to the left and extend lift lower bend and down well done everybody lift those lift those hips up squeeze the bottom take a breath in at the top and as you breathe out we're rolling the spine all the way down vertebra by vertebra with your tailbone the last to uncurl all right guys grab your knees into your chest give yourself a nice big hug just rock side to side releasing any tension tension that may have built up in the lower back area a couple of little circles in each direction And we're going into our hundreds so we're going to start off with establishing our hundreds position this is a position that is unique to you depending on where you are with your back strength and your abdominal strength and your overall core strength so it might look like your, your legs are straight up to 90 degrees it might look like they're almost down touching the floor your knees might be bent your legs might be straight again it is dependent on where you are at so I will we're going to explain how to establish this position. So we come extending our legs and arms all the way out. So really squeeze your inner thighs together, point the toes away from you, reach your arms over your head. Again, rib cage in, navel to spine. Take a breath in and slide your toes along the floor. As you breathe out, curl your head and chest forward, reach your arms long past your hips, and then extend your legs into your hundreds position. Now this is a position that should feel safe in your back and strong in your abs. Okay, it is a unique position to you. If you feel any pulling in the lower back, bend your knees slightly. It's absolutely up to you. And then we're going to do this, we're going to go through this all again. So touch your toes to the floor, extend everything long and away. One more like this, just to get your position sorted. So you're going to slide your toes along the floor with the breath in. Breathe out, curl your head and chest forward, arms reach past your hips. Extend your legs into your hundreds position. Touch your toes to the floor and then send everything long and away. Okay guys, so we're going into a set of hundreds. We're going to pump our arms, breathing in for five counts and then breathing out for five counts. And we do this 10 times, hence why it's called the hundreds. So let's go. So breathe in, slide your toes along the floor. Breathe out, curl forward, extend your legs into your hundreds position and pump your arms. Breathing in, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, two, three, four, five. In two, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, two, three, four, five. In three, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, two, three, four, five. In four, two, three, four, five. Five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, in five, head down if your neck feels weak, and out, two, three, four, five, in six, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, in seven, strong arms, and out, two, three, four, five, in eight, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, in nine, breathe out, two, three, four, five, in ten, two, three, four, Five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, tuck 
touch your toes to the floor and stretch everything long and away. Well done, guys. Okay, we're going to go into a roll-up. So let's do our first roll-up where we have our hands underneath our knees. Elbows out to the side, take a breath in, and as you breathe out, you're gonna roll all the way up, extend the legs forward, and reach past your toes. So really stretch over your thighs here. You wanna get a nice stretch into the hamstrings, a lovely stretch through the back. If it is pulling too much, please bend your knees as much as you need to. So really stretching all the way out here. And then maintaining what's called a C curve. So C curving out the spine, reaching the arms forwards. You're going to take a breath into the back and the sides. And as you breathe out, we're going to roll the spine all the way back down. One vertebra at a time, as in the pelvic roll up, using the abdominals to control the movement. Come all the way down, reach your arms up overhead and lay them behind you. Let's do that again. So, holding beneath the knees, elbows out to the side, take a breath in. As you breathe out, rolling all the way forwards into your C curve. Reaching long over the thighs, stretching through the hamstrings, shoulders down away from your ears. Take a breath in here through the back and the sides of the rib cage. And as you breathe out, C curve out your spine. Make sure that you're pulling the navel back all the way. Squeeze your inner thighs together. We come all the way down, lift your arms up overhead and lay them behind you. Let's do two more. If you want to start in this position, if you find it easier, then please, by all means, but for those of you who want to try something a little bit more difficult, we're going to start extended. So breathe in, lift your head, neck and shoulders, reach towards your toes and roll all the way up into your C curve. Stretching long over your thighs, belly button pulled back through the spine, reaching forwards. Take a breath in here through the back and the sides of the rib cage. As you breathe out, C curving out your spine, squeeze your bottom, squeeze your inner thighs together, rolling down, shoulders down away from your ears, tummy in, navel to spine, eye gaze looking forwards, reach and relax. One more like this, breathe in, lift your head, neck and shoulders, reach towards your toes, rolling all the way forwards into your C curve, again stretching all over your thighs. Take a breath in here through the back and the sides of the rib cage, And then it's as if someone is pulling you back from your belly button through your spine, we're rolling all the way back down. Vertebra by vertebra. Nice and slowly. Lifting your arms up over your head and laying them behind you. Well done, guys. Okay, we're going into our abdominal section now. So... Staying on your back, interlace your fingers behind your head, right knee comes up into tabletop followed by your left knee. Now, try and get your shoulder blades up off the floor and try and set this position. So shoulder blades back and down, nice and broad through the upper back, elbows open, but bring them forward slightly just so you can see the tips of your inner elbows in your peripheral vision. That will make sure that you won't wing your arms out. So shoulder blades down, back is broad. We're going to start off with some toe dips. So keeping that nice right angle in your knee, we're going to bend our right leg down, touch our right toes to the floor, bring it back up, and followed by the left, and lift. Right for two, in, and left, in. Right for three, up, Left, up and right for four, up. Let's add a twist. So tip your right toes down, twist towards your left knee and lift. Left toes go down, left shoulder comes up and up. Good, right for two, lift, left, lift. Right for three, lift, left, lift and right for four, lift. Left and lift. Single leg stretch. Extend your right leg out for one. And bend. And two. Keeping the chest still. 
right for three. In and left. In, right for four. In, left. In, right for five. In, left. Let's add a twist. Take your right shoulder to your left knee as you extend your right leg out for one. In, left. In, right for two. In, left. In, right for three. In, left. In, right for four. In, left. And in. Keeping your legs and keeping your chest up, extend both of your legs up towards the ceiling. Holding behind the left thigh, we're going to lower the right leg down, really reach it away and pull that left thigh in and pull yourself up. And we're going to pulse down the bottom twice. One, two, and then we switch. So the left leg goes down, the right knee comes up, pulse, two, and switch. Two, and switch. Pulse, and right for three. Pulse, and left. Pulse, right for four. Pulse, and left. Pulse, bring the legs back up, bend the knees, keep the hands by the knees, going into our double leg stretch. So we extend both of our arms and our legs away at the same time. One, and then we sweep our arms around, back to our knees. Stretch two, and sweep, and three. Sweep, head down if your neck feels weak, four. Sweep, five, sweep, six, sweep, seven, Last one, eight, and sweep. Well done, guys. We're going to bring our legs all the way up. Hands come back behind the head. Interlacing the fingers, pointing the toes. Keep the chest lifted. Now we're just going to lower our legs down to where it feels comfortable for you. Again, strong abs, but safe in the lower back. So we lower them down for one, and lift. Work to the best of your ability for two and lift. If you can come down a little bit lower for three, again, just make sure that your back feels okay. Lowering down for four. Now I want you to find your full range of motion for the last four. Four, five and lift. Lower down for six and up. Lower down for seven, and lift, last one, for eight, and lift. Release your head down, bring your arms out to the side, place your feet down on the ground, take your knees over to the right and turn your head to the left. This should just feel good. So we're really stretching through the left side waist, and then coming up through the center, knees go to the left, Head goes to the right. Again, just enjoying the stretch. Coming up through the center. Other side. Up through the center. Last one. And then coming up through the center. Well done guys. Okay, so I am a firm believer in the push-pull. So I always believe that every time you do flexion, you should also do extension just to balance it out. I like to be balanced. So as we've just done some abs, we're going to flip over onto our tummy and do some back work. So I will get you to come over onto your belly. And I'm just going to establish our neutral spine, but in a prone position. Prone meaning down onto our front. So, just come lying down. You can place your head any way you want to, arms down by your side. We're just going to take our awareness into our back area. And I want you to tuck your tailbone under, slightly press your pubic bone into the mat. Immediately you can see that this creates space 
in the sacral area, in your lower back. So when we do any back work, your back is split up into three sections. You've got your lumbar spine, your lower back. Your thoracic is your mid back. And then you've got your cervical spine, which is your upper back and your neck area. Most of the back work that we do originates from your mid back. So when we lift, we're lifting from our middle back. We're not crunching up into our low back and we're certainly not just lifting with our head. So I want you to try and find that space where you keep length through the back and we keep length through the back of the neck. Because as with our neutral spine, you still want to keep a slight arc here. There's a, an arc the opposite way in your mid back and then there's another little arc in the neck. But you do want it to be one long line from the tip of your head all the way down to the tip of your tailbone. So tops of the feet are resting on the ground. Legs are long and strong. Really pull up through the kneecaps, so activate the thighs. Tuck the tailbone under, squeeze your bottom, press your pubic bone into the mat. Bring your hands underneath your head. So one hand on top of the other, we're just up onto the forehead. And we're going to come up into some back bracing. Now only come up as far as you can. It might be one millimetre, it might be half a millimetre, it might be two centimetres. It is absolutely up to where you're at today. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, you're going to lift with your middle back as high as you can and then lower down, keeping the integrity of that neutral spine. So we're lifting up for two, squeeze your bottom, tuck your tail and lower down. Keep the knees pulling up, lifting up for three and lower, narrow through the waist, lifting up for four. Really feel the muscles working in the middle back and lower, lifting up for five and down. Lifting up for six, again, only work to the best of your ability and lower. Lifting up for seven, make sure you're not crunching in the lower back. Lower down, lifting up for eight. Now stay up as far as you can, bring your arms down by your side, reach them past your hips, back of the neck is long, and we're holding this flat position for a count of eight. And two, squeeze your bottom, tuck your tail under. Hold for three, shoulders down. And four, draw the lower rib cage up and in. And for five, back of the neck is long. Four, six, eye gaze towards the floor. Four, seven, pubic bone pressing in towards the mat. And for eight, now stay up here and we're going to sweep our left arm up over our head for one. And back, good. Now the right. And back. And left for two. And back. Keep lifting through the mid back. And back. And left for three, and back. Sweep the right, and back. And left for four, and back. And the right, good. Now we're going to do both arms. Keep lifting up through the middle back. Keep extending your legs back, long and strong. Sweep both arms up for one, and back. Good, sweep both arms up for two, and back. Reaching forwards with the crown of your head for three, and back, tailbone reaching to the back of the wall for four. And back, four more like this. Four, five. And back, tops of the feet pressing into the mat for six. And back, legs long and strong, pulling up through the kneecaps for seven. And back, last one, tuck the tailbone, lift the middle back for eight. And back, and rest down, just have a rest here. Cheek to the mat, doesn't matter which way. Relax the back, relax the tailbone, feel the release through the middle back. We're going to finish our back section with a little bit of swimming. So, coming into our extended position. So, legs are long, arms are long. We're going to lift our legs up off the ground. Again, back of the neck is long, eye gaze down. And we opposite arm and leg swim for one, two, three, four, and five, six, Seven, eight to go. Four, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, and eight, and relax. Well done, everybody. Push yourself back into your rest pose. So, bringing the knees underneath you, big toes together, knees apart, sitting back into your child's pose, your rest pose, whatever you like to call it, and we're pushing ourselves back onto our heels. Sit bones connected to the heels, 
palms on the floor. This is an active stretch. So make sure that you're pushing yourself back, really connecting to the stretch in the lower back. Connecting back to the breath. And then walk both of your hands over to the right side of your mat, stretching out the left side of your body. Now make sure that your left sit bone stays connected to your left heel. So not coming up, not rolling over. We're really trying to keep our pelvis and hips stable. And then walk both of the hands over to the left side of your mat. Stretching out the right side of your body. Right sit bone connected to right heel. Come back through the centre. Push yourself back. And then slowly, slowly walk yourself back up. Well done, guys. Okay, so we're going to go into some side lying work now. So grab your towel or a cushion or something that you want to use to support your neck and your head. And we're going to come lying down onto our side. Place your rolled up towel uh, in between your neck and your head. So again, there's a theme running through this and it's neutral spine. Even when we're lying on our side, if you can imagine me as a skeleton, the tip of my head would be directly into the centre of the tip of my tailbone. So the neck, the spine, it would all be in one line. And that means underneath waist lifted, not collapsing down into the mat here so that we have a bow in the top. We want up, lifting up through the underneath side weights. We want neck in neutral, which means on the same plane. So we're not here or this I can't stand, none of this. We want to make sure that our neck is nice and in line. Okay, underneath knee is bent. Underneath side waist is lifted. Top leg, long and strong. Think about lengthening away, drawing the navel in. Nice and strong through the core. Top shoulder down away from your ear, either in front of you, onto your hip, wherever feels comfortable for you, that's absolutely fine. So we're going to do a sequence here. We're going to do eight leg lifts. We're going to do eight little circles forwards. We're going to do eight little circles backwards. We're going to do eight sweeps forwards and back. And we're all working our top bottom muscles. So the glute maximus, the glute med, the glute min, all working together. Three muscles at the bottom, working to Make it nice and perky for you. Okay, so extending that top leg, hand on the hip or down in front of you, and here we go. So we're lowering and lifting one, and two, and three, and four. Underneath side waist lifted for five, six, seven, and eight. Circle forwards for one, and two. Four, three, circle four, and five, four, six, four, seven, and eight. Now reverse, four, one, two, nice and slowly, four, three, and four, navel to spine, five, top shoulder down, six, four, seven, and eight, now we sweep the leg all the way forwards, keep it on the same parallel plane, and we take it back. And forwards for two, and back. Forwards for three, and sweep it back. Forwards for four, make sure your hips stay stacked, one hip on top of the other. And forwards for five, and back. Just work in your own range for six. Don't let that leg sag. And back, two more. Four, seven. And back. Forwards for eight. And back. Well done, guys. Let's go over to the other side. 
should feel a little burn in that top bottom. So get nice and comfortable with your towel or your cushion. Underneath side waist lifted. Your underneath knee is bent. Top leg out, long and strong. So hips are stacked. Top hip directly over your bottom hip. We're not rolling back. Send that leg, turn the thigh down slightly. Hand is either on the hip or down in front of you. Here we go, starting with our leg lifts. And we lower down for one, lift. Lower for two, and lift. And for three, lift. Lower for four, lift. And for five, up. Six, lift. For seven, lower for eight. Let's circle forwards. For one, little circles for two, control them for three and four. Really feel like the circle is starting from the hip joint. Six, seven, and eight. Now reverse. For one, and two, and three, four, four. Circle for five and six or seven and eight. Let's go into our sweep. So we sweep forwards for one and back. Sweep forwards for two and back. Underneath waist lifted for three. Really hinging from that hip joint and sweep forwards for four. And back, squeeze the bottom for five. And back, top shoulder down away from your ear for six. And back, navel to spine for seven. And back, sweeping forwards for eight. And back, well done guys. Just get rid of your towel where you are rolling onto your back. Let's just do a little stretch for the glutes. So cross your right ankle over your left knee and then kick up behind your left thigh. So flex your right foot, press your right ankle into your left knee as you draw that knee back towards your chest. You should be feeling a beautifully delicious stretch in your right bottom cheek. If you want to increase that stretch from this position, anchor your tailbone down into the mat and arch your lower back as you pull that knee in towards your body. And that should just give you a little bit of a boost of a stretch. Other side, so the left ankle comes over your right knee. Pick up behind your right thigh, flex your left foot, press that left ankle into your right knee as you draw that knee back towards your chest. Again, anchor the tailbone down, arch your lower back if you want to deepen that stretch or just stay in the position that you're in. And then coming out of it. So just rolling towards the front of the room to come up. We're just going to do a little bit of deep core work to finish off. So coming onto your knees, we're going into what's called a four point kneeling position. Four points because you are in contact with the floor on four points of your body. So making sure that your wrists are directly underneath your shoulders and that your knees are directly underneath your hips. You want to look like a bit of a table. We're going to extend one arm, slide it in front of you, extend it out so your right arm comes out without shifting any weight anywhere and it comes back. Again, left arm comes up and down. Right arm for two and lower, and to the left. Slight little tuck of the tail, right for three, so no collapsing down into the lower back, and left, and down, shoulder blades are broad, right for four, back of the neck is long, and left. Okay, let's just do a couple on our legs. So we slide our right leg back and lift, and then we come back into the kneeling position and slide the left and back, good, right for two, 
and bend, and left, and bend. Right for three, navel to spine, narrowing through the waist, left. One more each side like this, then we're going to put it all together. And left. Okay, opposite arm and leg. We are going to extend our right leg and our left arm. One. And in. Good. Left leg, right arm. And in. Left arm, right leg. And in. Right arm, left leg. Squeeze. And in. Three. In, left leg, one more each side, and the left, good, and just to finish off, we're going into a plank, so keeping yourself up on your hands, you're going to tuck your toes under, and bring yourself up into your plank position, okay, so we're sending our heels back towards the wall. Bring your navel up towards your spine. Tuck your tailbone under. Lower the hips down. Broaden through the shoulders. Back of the neck is long. Squeeze your fingertips into the floor as if you're picking the floor up with your hands. And we're holding here for eight. And for two. And three. Legs long and strong. For four. Hips are lowered. And for five. Back of the neck is long. For six. Navel to spine. For seven. And for eight, knees come down. We're going to do one more plank if you're game. And then that we're going to finish off with something beautiful called seal puppy, but we're going to do one more plank first. So, planting the hands, legs come out long and strong, and we lower the hips down, and we hold for one. Tuck the tail for two, navel to spine for three, Shoulder blades for broad, and for four. Kicking the floor up with your fingers, for five. And for six, funnel the ribcage towards the hips, for seven. Legs long and strong, and for eight. And then we come up into our up stretch, or down facing dog. Have a nice little stretch here. Cycle out through the legs, if you need to. And then we come down onto the mat. All right, guys, we're going to finish up with something really beautiful. It's a traditional Pilates exercise called Seal Puppy. So we come sitting at the very front of our mat. And don't worry if you can't get this. It's just a little bit of fun, really. So we sit up. You're going to thread your hands underneath and hold on to your ankles. So we clap our feet like a little seal. I'm just gonna roll back and then come up and one, two, three, clap. And back and up. One, two, three, clap. And back and up. And one, two, three, clap. And I am giving you guys a clap for completing my beginner's Pilates class I hope to see you back on the mat very soon.